Hey, cool. So, I suppose we just kick it off. We're, all we're going to do is just read out the questions. And we have to get spinning around. Um, so, the first one. Uh, do you think that the action New Zealand government is currently taking on climate change is sufficient and does justice to future generations? No, absolutely not. No, no. Uh, uh, leaving, so leaving agriculture out of the emissions trading scheme and preferring it's entry. Oh, um, honey, let's buy a country. Uh, not right. It's the equivalent of the supplementary minimum prices that we pay for farmers. After New Zealand entered the European Union, uh, it's a denial of reality. Barbie King, will it? Thank you. Uh, um, slow down that progress, and uh, the faster we do, the better. Uh, so, what goals and actions will you push for in the next year? Green Party's got a, a number of um, things that we're referring to there. Uh, we originally supported the carbon tax rather than the emissions trading scheme, but the ETS has got to go off. We've got to make it work better. Um, we really support the um, coal action coalition that's going to keep the coal in the hole. It's a real basic, you know, if you're not burning the hydrocarbons, you're not putting the carbon dioxide in there. Uh, and also, deep sea drilling for oil. Uh, we're looking at the policy statement on that at the moment. I don't think it's come out yet, but uh, you can imagine that it's going to happen. Don't take the risk. You know, don't, you've got to wean yourself off the hydrocarbons. Don't indulge in risky behaviour. So, in your opinion, has the ETS in its current form and equitable system that delivers sufficient economic signals to emit it? No, it's not. Uh, I'm an economist by training. And I have a real concern about using the price signal online. Uh, so, the ETS in theory is essentially uh, 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 different businesses to take uh, economic decisions about whether they go to the or not. But in practice, it turns into a bit of a money go round. Even uh, involving the financial sector, and that leads to no real gain. Uh, and it's, it's a way of buying out of the commitment to do what's necessary. And so, so we, we, we really, if that price signal is going to be big and you've actually got to set these as a hard cap emissions and price for them. Do you want to jump in, Sarah? No, no, I'm um, what are your opinions on the expansion of fossil fuel industries in New Zealand um, for electricity, transport and heating? Well, we've gone into the selection of the key message around developing New Zealand's clean energy industries as a way forward economically and environmentally. So we've got great resources of um, geothermal energy, wind energy, hydro energy, uh, unexplored resources of tidal energy, and then seven most of alcohol um, from forest waste. So the idea really is to get our Crown Research Institutes and universities and private sector involved in research and development and really leveraging those, uh, those technologies, including the quality of them, and then selling them into the virtual market. And so that's an environmental win and an economic win at the same time. It's, it's just sensible. So you would support the call for the government to create an action plan to attain 100% renewable energy? Absolutely. Uh, by 2050? What are your opinions on the expansion of the fossil fuel industry? That was uh, such as coal, liquid mining, and gas So, that's... I mean, the policy is coal and coal. Um, especially the lignum of the dirty coal, very, very high power and low, low return on this So that's it, it, really silly. But uh, we have to be in our Of course, the deep sea oil drilling, um, this is one of the problems we get into is that the peak of oil supply is fast and that means further exploration is going to be a risky environment, environmentally sensitive environment. Why take that risk? Uh, so there's a, an issue about whether to just simply ban that for the long term or place a moratorium until uh, technology has come through that makes that sort of exploration safe. And carbon capture and storage, if it's possible, um, if it can be done, then let's see how it's done. Oh, oh no! To keep on promoting that sort of technology, we've got to prove their case before we get down to the
Yeah, it's providing more research and development for the low carbon. Um, so do you perceive New Zealand's dependence on oil as a risk to our economy in an age of high and increasing oil prices? Uh, do, you, oh, do you support the reallocation spending on new roads towards low carbon and public transport measures? That's a Green Party policy. Absolutely part of our platform for this. And also, uh, you know, it goes along with looking at investment shifts with the capital gains tax away from over investing in residential property and taking that investment, you know, having that investment in dollar available to put into these other things. So, uh, that, that's also part of the mix is this. You have to shift investment from what's unproductive to what's unproductive and then what's going to be the best thing for us in the future. Okay. Um, what actions, if any, would you take in your electorate to enable your community to increase their understanding of climate change and to reduce their emissions? We're not going for the electorate vote in Epsom, we're going for the party vote. But, uh, I, I think, you know, just people don't necessarily get the climate change argument, they'll be confused by it, and they'll put the seeds of confusion being sown out there. But they certainly understand the, the oil price issue, because that's the problem there. They, they see the new oil every time they go to the So I think that is the way to possibly get into the conversation and, and sort of break through in terms of people's understanding. Um, but it's, it's an uphill battle as long as the New Zealand media or the public media is stripping the guts out of our whole system. And that's, that's a shame, you know, people have to know the information that they have to make both in the investment and consumption choices. I don't know about that before she's going in, you know, <laughs> yeah. don't get an electric scooter. Um, so, final question, how can young New Zealanders convince the government to take stronger action on climate change? Do everything you can. You know, uh, and, and be brave, be courageous. Use right to just be a member of parliament. Uh, join groups like 350.org and Generation Zero. Vote for the Green Party, obviously. <laughs> uh, and, and just, you know, Go out there, find out what it is that you personally can do, what's the most you can do, and go and do that. And every little bit of that you can do, it's your future. This is, this is your investment in the future. Get on with it. Uh, thanks, David, for everything. Yes. That's it. Thank you.